We are now joined by Max Blessed Holloway, getting ready to fight Calvin Cater in the main event of UFC's return to Fight Island. And Max, it has been a minute since we've seen you fight in a fight without a belt at stake. Got to go all the way back to what UFC 199 when morning weigh-ins were just starting to be a thing. Calvin Cater hadn't even yeah. debuted in the UFC yet. How does your, I guess, preparation and mental state now in the final days compare in this fight to when you were fighting for titles for the last four years? I mean, uh, it's, it's not that different, to be quite honest. If I'm telling you the truth, it's not different at all. It's been five rounds. I mean, like I said, you know, the, the title was is just a title. You know, the title is just to let everybody know I was, I was a champion. It's, this is basically a title fight. We got five fives. Uh, and uh, it's it's no different. My mindset is no different at all. I got 25 minutes to go out there, have fun, do work, uh, figure out a way to get the job done, and um, that's what I plan on doing. You've climbed the ladder in the UFC before. You know what it's like to go from that three, five round format and make that step up to five, five round fights. And like I said, that has been your reality for the last four and a half years. What advantage do you think that gives you over somebody like Calvin Cater, who is newer? to this 25 minute format? Um, the beautiful thing is, uh, I, I I don't know. I don't know if it gives me anything, to be honest. I mean, I got extra 10 minutes for sure. That's the, that's the thing look, outside looking in, but to be honest, we don't know, you know? We don't know, we see, we get to see, we get to find out the beautiful thing. We we get to find out in uh, in nine days, on Saturday, you know, live on, uh, ESPN Plus or, or ABC now that they announced. So I can't wait, you know. Um, that, that that was the question, you know. That was the question, you know. This guy is uh, he's saying something of me overlooking him and blah, 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 this and that. But, I, you know, I'm not overlooking him, you know. The, the, the question comes, he's good. He's good. He's here for a reason. But the question comes is like, like what you said, I've been here multiple times and, um, we're going to find out. We're going to find out how he react uh, under those lights, and I can't wait for it. I find it interesting how much the COVID reality has impacted different camps based on where different people are from and where they're based. How has this camp, and I guess UFC 251 before this for you, because that was in the teeth of the pandemic as well, how has that impacted your, I guess, ability to prepare compared to what it was before the pandemic? Uh, the, 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 the last fight was, it was kind of tough, you know, like I said, I, I, I really couldn't see my coaches until, uh, until we got to the, to the airport from the last one, a bunch of stuff we was doing off of Zoom. So at the end of the day, um, Hawaii got to open up a little bit. We got to do a little bit more stuff. I got to see my coaches. I got to do a little bit more training, uh, well, in person with, with, with my coaches now instead of doing video calls and stuff. So, uh, it's, uh, it's still tough, but, um. You're adapting. That's what you got to do. You know, you got to adapt. You gotta, that's what you got to do. We adapt. And it's all about rolling with the punches, baby. And uh, I think we rolled with the punches pretty good the last one. Uh, we see how we did uh, this upcoming one. Your son has been such a, a focal point of fight weeks in the past and such a fun part yeah. of those fight weeks. Obviously, he's unable to make the trip to Abu Dhabi with you. What's it going to be like not having that little, you know, pint-sized bit of limitless energy around for dance-offs during open workouts and those types of things as you're trying to prepare for a fight? Um, a little shine stealer. Uh, it's going to be good because I get to, uh, I get to, I get to save a little bit of energy. Some energy he takes from me. That guy, that guy's an energy ball. He's a shine stealer, like I said, but, uh, all jokes aside, I miss him, man. I miss him. It was tough, man. This guy was, uh, he is, you know, he just turned nine, and I, I thought he was over that phase of like maybe like crying for me, like missing and stuff, even and stuff. But the dude took this in super hard. He really would come. Um, if I had the corner spot open, I definitely would have made him come, but we didn't. <laughs> and he, so I told him, you gotta focus on school, boy. <laughs> and maybe a couple of years from now, we can we can get him away as as being a quarter man for you. Uh, Max, if you look back at, you know, your your route to the UFC as you were making or through the UFC, I should say, you were fighting, you know, four times a year. And then as is standard, when somebody becomes champion, that activities kind of scales back one or two fights a year for you as you survey 2021. What is the ideal outlook from an activity standpoint? 
activity standpoint is, um, you know, like I said before, I would like to go in there. I like to get busy, you know. You know, my New Year's resolution is to get my sixth title, my seventh title, and then my eighth title. That's that's what I want to do. I want to stay busy, man. Fighters, fighters fight the way we eat is uh, is the way we make a living. It's true fighting. So, uh, I, I I would love to I would love to fight as much as I, can, I possibly can. Well, a task at hand up first. Calvin Cater he has eight UFC fights under his belt, and. and- a few of those are common opponents, the guys that you have fought and, and beaten as well. When you see Calvin fight, what's something that you can see and appreciate in his style that somebody might like me might miss? Uh, I I don't think you're really going to miss it, but he uh, or someone might miss it, period. He's from Boston. Uh, he's a he's a boxer. And his, stri- his, his striking is something to appreciate. So, you know, as a fighter... That that even a fan of, of of striking period, I I I am uh, happy that he is going to be standing against the uh, across the cage for me or octagon come uh, come next week Saturday because I, I can't wait to test it. You know, some people like to talk about my boxing how it's very good, and then this guy's from Boston. We know how Boston boxers is, so I'm super excited for that fight. Oh yeah, it should be an objectively entertaining fight. And looking at the UFC rankings. You're the number one contender in the featherweight division. Your resume speaks for itself. How much do you think, I guess, style and and the manner in which you beat Cater, assuming you win, how long, how much do you think that's going to weigh into your opportunity with the win to get a shot at the Alex Wilkinowski, Brian Ortega winner? We see it happens, you know. My job out there, do fights, get out there and get it done, you know. Um, all the things outside, I got an agent for that, and uh, we got UFC. They can we can talk to them after. But first things first is Cater. You know he he's here for a reason. We can't be overlooking him, and uh, that's what I plan on doing. I plan on uh, I plan on going out and making it, and um, we see what happens after that. Max, we have seen you grow up in the octagon, and this is the last question for me. We've seen you grow up in the octagon. Nine years now, you've been in the UFC, coming up on that, which is insane because you just turned twenty nine last month where's one area in particular that you have seen yourself evolve as a fighter in recent months as you continue to evolve as a mixed martial artist i mean i mean one thing that people don't really see or people keep talking about is my striking this and that and but the, my game been evolving a lot like i mean just wait till you guys get to see my jiu-jitsu i i love jiu-jitsu i offer training I do a lot of gi jitsu so I, I love rolling, I love grappling, so this way until we open that part of the game up, it's going to be a, a whole a whole new ball game. So I can't, can't wait to uh, see some flying stuff. You guys like flying strikes, maybe you see a flying submission here in the new future. All right, calling his shot. Max Blessed Holloway in the main event against Calvin Cater on Fight Island. Max, it's always a joy to chat with you. Thanks so much for joining us, and best Thank of you. luck in the main event. Thank you, my man. Be safe. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.